Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 6 of the modeling tutorial on character modeling. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, the lighting setup that we did last time is gone now. Um, let me very quick tell you why that is. So, actually, I paused um, recording for a while and I closed the file and Blender and everything. And these settings here went back to default. If you want to keep those settings, the thing you have to do is click down here and save user settings. However, I don't want to do that because I still normally like to have the default uh, setup. I just want to use this for this particular project. So I'm going to leave it like that and every time I open it up uh, new, I will have to redo that. Other than that, let's continue our work. And I'll start now um, working on the back of the of the head. At the beginning, it's uh, still still fairly easy. I just do some extrusions of this back part, and then I will start to plan my connections. Um, I'm going to connect these here and make sure that there is this uh, curve in here while this goes here to the back. And now that I have that set up, I can go in here and adjust the individual parts. You know, you'll have to scale down a few parts um, since it's getting narrow to the back. And now what I want to do with um, this loop here, the last one before this break here, is I want to have this one go somewhere around here and then join into this section over here. So uh, this is just something I um, came up with. I don't know if that's in particular any good topology or not, but I thought that was uh, that just worked well, so I'm going to stick with that. You see, it's always a matter of of what uh, of of what you're modeling, the shape, and and I don't know. I think it's also a matter of of your style, <laughs> you could say. No, I don't know. Uh, well, point is, I don't think there is just one correct way of making faces. There are definitely some uh, rules that describe how to make faces uh, better. But those are just some uh, technical things that will just guarantee you some better deformations. And these rules do not tell you how it must be. They just give you some guidelines. And as long as you stick to those, um, you should be all right. And you know this is just one of these ways to work with those. Yeah, so right now I'm trying to fill up those spaces evenly and try to connect everything, which is not very easy from time to time. As you can see here, we have one edge here, but two here. I could just create a loop here, but I don't really want to do that because I want to avoid having too many, um, too much density here. But actually, looking at it from here, I think it is all right to add one. So I'll go ahead with that. Okay, by the way, a little um, little tip here, now, we're, now that we're at it. When you have a situation like this and you want to fill this up, you can simply select this edge here and just click F, F, F. By the way, let me turn this on again so you can see my shortcuts. And here F again, that will make it much easier for you to fill up these kind of holes. Um, maybe it will take a time for you to figure out when this works and when it doesn't, because there are some situations where it's, it won't work and some others where it works but it doesn't look uh, really like it would work and stuff like that. But yeah, just play around with it and we'll figure it out for sure and it will help you to improve your speed. Now back here I definitely want to get narrower Alright, so I think 
this is still going to look a bit weird for a while but let's live with this for now and revisit these uh, areas once we are further with the modeling which will make it easier for us to uh, see which shape looks better and which one is rather wrong. Okay, now over here, let's connect these. Let's try. I, I, I don't think. Hmm. This is one example of a <laughs> really bad situation. You see, you have not just four edges connecting to this vertex one, two, three, four, five. It's actually six. Um, that is. Yeah. Not very good, however. Because, you know, what I think right now is I should do it better, but on the other hand, there won't be so much deformation anyways in this area, so no one will see it. And the other thing is there is hair on top of it as well, so these are those situations where I really think I shouldn't bother, bother too much uh, sticking with all those rules. Um, but... Let's see if I can fix something. I'll try it. Let me just see how it would look if I would just merge these together. No. Yeah, actually, let's leave it like that. You know, as I said, I'm not very happy with that, but as long as I don't find any, uh, as long as not something better comes into my mind, I'll just stick with this. Yeah, so let's continue here. Um, let's just extrude these ones down, very simple. Just very roughly, just with a few uh, subdivisions. And the first thing you want to do is to fix the, the very rough um, proportions of everything just so you get the shape uh, in, um, in place and prepared for the detail to come. Then I'll go ahead and add one more loop here and another one here. And now let's start to connect this. Now again we have the problem of edges with not the same amount of vertices, but we still need to connect them. Um, actually, I really think this part here was not very well done, and I'll go ahead and delete actually the entire thing. I'm really not happy with it. <laughs> let's let's just do that again. Yes, at some times it's really just better to start over. I think. <coughs> so I know that these ones will um, connect. I'm sure of it at least. And let's see, this one will go down like that, I suppose. Now, as you can see, well, one, one little thing you can always check is um, the amount of vertices. You see we have seven, that is, oh, I should really look up that word. <laughs> um, is it? Maybe, well, you know. You have two, four, six, eight, those kind of numbers. I'll look up the word and next time I'll, be, I'll know what I have to say. Sorry for that. Um, if this is one of these um, numbers I just told you about, then you can fill this up without having to add any loops. If it's not, like here, we'll need one new loop cut any, uh, somewhere or else we won't uh, be able to fill this up just with quads. And if you try that, uh, try it out to fill it up, you will see that it is impossible in case you want to try it. Or at least I think so. <laughs> yeah, if, if someone can do that, please prove it to me. <laughs> well, anyways, you see, um, now it would be possible to fill this up just with quads, but we still have a little problem here. Um, the 
they are just in a way that it's hard for us to fill those in. What I will do in this situation is simply do it like that. Again, here, uh, this is not very good topology, um, but no one will see it as long as this character isn't bold or as long as this character, you know, has a wig or something, which is not the case with this character, so I'm not going to care about it. Actually, I could really just not do this entire back part of the head. That would be alright as well. But I like still doing it because, um, yeah, I learn, I learn a lot from just doing it. And also, I guess those of you who need it will be glad if they have a reference as here. And the other thing is, even though I might not find a good way for, for filling this kind of thing this time, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm never going to find one. As soon as I'll find one, I'll probably stop doing it like that, you know? That's kind of the learning progress I use. Thinking about it now, um, I think the model wouldn't suffer so much from a few more loop cuts here. So I think to solve this, let's just create two loops here. At first I thought that wouldn't be so good because the density would get really high, but it seems like that is all right. So actually you see, we, we simply fixed it in a few minutes. Um, yes, I hope that was a bit of an example for you of how you can think around these problems and try to fix those. And, in, and again, um, this is really just some I guess you could call this clean a, a clean model if you work only like that but I'm I'm really not sure what to think about all that I mean you know I just have my own opinion I, I never heard um, really from other people who, who use it in every model they make what the motivation behind that is that's just how I live with it. Um, yeah, actually there are a few things I want to fix around this area maybe and then continue with the neck but let's stop again for this part so we created the back of the head and continued our work a little bit and I'll see you next time.